it broke. So this has been working fine since I repaired it. I've used it every single day. It's been waking me up in the morning and it's been working flawlessly. However, this morning it didn't wake me up. <laughs> That's my excuse anyway, but it has got no power. So I've not, I'm not entirely sure what's going on. I've tried it with batteries as well because of, it's been plugged in with a 5 volt cable and it's you know it's been working but I've tried batteries that's not working either. I think from when I repaired it I, I seem to recall the circuit board where the power cables were. They were a little bit raised and they weren't great but they were still making a connection and I didn't actually do anything with them. So I'm guessing that's now failed. So I'm going to get it open again have another look and see if I can see if I can repair it. Hopefully it'll be a nice easy one. So let's open it. You know, it's times like this when I wish I had a big boss to disassemble things for me. Okay, so these are these suspect pins. They don't look any different than when I left it, to be honest, but a couple of them don't look great. This one, yeah, doesn't look very good at all. These are all creased, but I'm pretty sure they're still going to be making a connection. So I'm not sure this is the problem. But I'll check them again. Alright, let's just check these. So this one goes to there. That one goes to there. Oh, no it doesn't. Right, okay. Oh god, none of them are working. How's that happen then? Right, well I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run... the. I think that one's okay, but I'm going to run little wires from here to here, because that's all they're doing. There's just a little track, basically, that connects here to here. These solder joints are fine. These ones are a mess. If I run little wires from here to here, little jumpers, that should solve that problem. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, look at the state of them. They're all moving. I think this is the right thing to do. That, I mean, I, I think they're okay, a couple of them, but I'm just going to run wires from these four, basically. Because that's where the creases are, and that's where these these two ground ones either side seem to be fine. So I'm just going to run some little thin wire. So I've got these connected to the actual pins rather than the pads because you can see there that one is is no longer connected and that that is why it wasn't working. Right, I'm just going to try and tidy these wires up now and just get them running to where they need to go. Right, I think that looks pretty good. Just check it out under the microscope. Okay, so they all look like they're nicely soldered on there. And then we've got them all running around, all of them are touching. And they're all going to those four points up there. Yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. I'll put some solder mask on, I think, just to keep them in place. And I might also put some uh, some hot snot over this this area here, so that these don't lift. I think they're, they're quite solid now, but I just don't want to risk it, you know, breaking again. I suppose before I do that, I should really check to see whether we've got continuity. I'm pretty sure. Yep, so we've got good continuity across all of those now. 
Right, the last time I used this stuff, I put far too much on. So I'm going to put it on with my tweezers this time. This is how we learn. We do it wrong, and then the next time we do it not quite as wrong. I wonder whether I can just put solder mask over here as well and that will keep it down rather than using the hot glue. I think I might try it. Right, well that definitely looks better than it did the last time I did it. I've probably still put too much on. Okay, that should be enough. Nice. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. Right, let's put it all back together and see if it works. Right, let's try that now. Yay, we have power. T-U-R-T-L-E, power. Leading magazines and newspapers. Right, for, for some reason, the right button isn't working. Shut up. So that button isn't working. Mode. Oh, it is working. It's not very good. I noticed that when I took it apart the first time. The It had a layer of foam, didn't it? across the, the button contacts and it's just it's not a very good way of doing it I don't think there's no the tactile switches but there's no physical connection between the push button and the tactile switch what you're actually pressing on is foam which I don't know if it's to make it quieter or if they've just you know they, they didn't design it properly so they had to put a layer in to make it make it work but as a result a couple of these buttons aren't aren't working now Take it apart again, Stephen. What I'm thinking now is, because uh, I want to hear the click of these buttons, because they're incredibly spongy. So I'm wondering whether I can modify this. If you look at this uh, plastic membrane, for want of a better word, uh, where the the buttons sort of bend in here. The fact that it's, ter it's really badly designed. So we've got all these individual buttons, but they don't actually push directly on these tactile switches. It's almost like they did it and then they thought, oh, well, that's not going to work. I know. Let's put some foam over it. No one will ever know. I'd like to... to I, I want to feel the click. I, I, want it, I want to know that I've pressed the button. Right, I've just been searching through my shed for anything that I can use. And I've got these foam pads here, which give quite a bit. So I'm going to try and cut these up and just stick a little tiny bit on each of these tactile switch. I don't know if it's going to work, but... Hopefully it'll be better than it was. Right, there we go. Captain Bodge to the rescue. You can hear they still give a nice click. Whether it works or not, I don't know. But, hey, I'm going to try it. Nice. They're all giving a reassuring, yes, you have pressed me, click. Oh, yes. Ah, oh, so much better. So much better. Let's power it on. Take the march. Visit screwfix.com. Nice. Delivery charges and restrictions. Hi there. Free screwfix advert there as well. Put it in blue tees. The buttons are much better than they were. You know, you can feel them, them pressing, which is which is what you want, really. You don't want it to be spongy and not know, oh, have I pressed that or have I not pressed it? Now, they're all working, they're all clicking, and it's, it's working much, much better. Obviously, the power is on, it's staying on. I think that will be a, a long-term fix now. So hopefully, that's the last we'll ever see of this. I mean, I'll see it every day, because it, you know, it lives by my bed and wakes me up, but... <laughs> 